Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today with a liquid lipstick wear test. This one's a little bit different because I actually have a full range of liquid lipsticks that I was sent, ooh, it was in December I think, and um, I was actually really super impressed with the packaging. Uh, it's really cute, I'm going to show it to you, but uh, I just, yeah, I, it took me a little while, I think over the holiday period, you know, Christmas and New Year's and stuff, uh, to actually try these, and when I did I was like, oh my god, these colours are so great. So, instead of just picking one to do a wear test on, I will do that, um, but I'll try them all on and swatch them and lip swatch them so you can see how the colours look on me. Now, for reference, my, a lot of people ask, my MAC Skin foundation base color would be NC20. So um, I like to consider myself quite neutral. I can wear, I can get away with sort of pink toned foundations, but I much prefer slightly yellow toned foundations. Um, that's why sort of like um, bright kind of ready orange lipsticks tend to work well on me. Um, and I like golds more than silvers. So I am a little bit warmer than cool toned. Um, but I'm sort of like neutral warm, if that makes sense. So why am I telling you this? Anyway, the reason I'm telling you what my um, foundation sort of coloring is like is because nudes look very different on different people and um, swatches are helpful to an extent. Um, but unless you sort of know how different you are from the person that's doing the swatches, you won't know how the nudes are going to sit on you. So that's why... I mentioned that. Um, but the products are by Pixie, and this is the cool ass box that I wanted to show you. So it's got a lock and a key. Holy bejesus, it's very cute. Um, so it's got a little key. Look, it defeats the purpose of a lock if you've got the key hanging on it, but it's very cute. Um, so you open it up. Like, uh, 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 oh, there we done it. Yes, so a little rose gold lock. So it's like a big book, you open it up, and voila! So yeah, it's got skincare under here, which I am going to admit I have not used. I wanted to keep them in here so you can see how cute this is. So this is the Rose Caviar Essence Rose Flash Balm. Um, they're both like hydrating products. I'm telling you guys a story. I feel like I'm a kindergarten teacher. So the thing that really piqued my interest were these. So this under here is the matte last liquid lip so there are five shades they're all some sort of form of nude so you have eau naturale matte beige pastel petal uh, really rose and evening rose so sort of peachy nude more like true nudes more pinky sort of mauvey nudes so that's what we're testing out check it out so pretty so pretty so even though these were sent to me, I'm going to put them through the paces like I do with any liquid lipstick wear test. I'm going to apply one of the shades, wear it for about two hours without any drinking or eating. So I can check in, tell you how it wears without any food or water interference. Um, because some liquid lipsticks just by talking wears off and crumbles off. So um, I'll do that, then I'll check back in after I have had something to eat and drink to see how it wears through food. And then I'll continue wearing it until it wears off. So I think what I'll do is I'll work from the lighter shade to swatch them um, and then go to the darkest one and then I'll wear the darkest one um, and let you know how that wears so you can see it properly on my lips, how it's wearing off. All right, so once again, these are the nudes. So they're all nudes, but they're all various colors of nudes. So you can see more orange, more true nude, more rosy sort of nudes. Those are the shades there. Um, that's the packaging, so it's got this kind of um, thick plastic packaging with gold writing, kind of mint green caps. Alright, so I just checked, uh, Jeffree Star is around 5 uh, grams of product, Kylie Jenner I think is about 2.25 oh, mils, Colourpop is around 3 point something grams, so uh, even though these look quite small, uh, they do pack a punch with how much product you get in it, so nearly 7 grams of product. So these are supposed to have full color payoff in a single stroke, so we'll test that. Uh, it's supposed to be hydrating, long wearing and quick drying, so we'll test that. These also are infused with rose hip seed oil, so I think they're supposed to, supposed to help from them feeling drying on your lips, so we would test that, we would do it. Alright, time to swatch and this is Eau Naturale, so this is the peachy one. 
Um, let's swatch it on my hand. The doe foot applicator also has that sort of triangle point, um, which is good for like lining your lips. It also has a little hole in the middle. So there's product that dips into it. So you probably don't need to reapply or re dip to apply full amount. All right, so swatch of the peachy color. So this is Eau Naturale. So that is nice and pigmented, very nice and even. They do have a scent. It almost has a vanilla orangey scent. Almost like uh, orange poppy seed cake. I don't hate it. It's quite subtle, so it's not like a punch in the face. If you've tried something like um, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker, that is a real orange extreme scent. This is a lot softer, so you really have to give it a good whiff to smell it. So you can see that that has not yet dried down slowly. All right, let's apply it to the lips. I love, I love these colors. You can see it is definitely opaque. All right, I didn't even need to turn that over to use the product on the other side of the wand. There definitely was enough on one side of the wand to do the whole lips. Super opaque. It is drying a lot quicker on the lips than I think it was on the hand. Um, you can see as I'm talking, the shine is going. Um, super opaque, opaque, really easy to apply. It feels kind of moussey, but not drying moussey. Some moussey products have a, a little bit of a powdery sort of feel to it. This doesn't. Um, this is already dried down. That was within seconds. Uh, beautiful color. If you like a peachy nude, this is really bold, beautiful peachy nude, but nothing too um, unwearable. So it's not like a really dry sort of neon peach that makes your teeth look bad. This makes my teeth look fine. I'm often scared of peaches because they make my teeth look really yellow. This one looks quite nice. Um, another thing I noticed was that the wand is very, very flexible, super flexible. So as you're sort of applying it, you might, it kind of moves with the lips, but at the same time, if you are sort of detailing, you might want to be careful that it kind of, um, the tip is prone to moving. But yeah, that's the shade Au Natural. I think it's a beautiful peach. I just love these shades. I've used all of them. I wanted to do this after I've used them all. And I'm going to have to say the colors, they hit the mark with the colors. I just think they're really, really flattering shades. All right, the next is Matte Beige. And this is probably my most used one because it's sort of like my lips, but better. It's a really, really beautiful shade. Um, so it sort of has a mauvey coolness to it, but it's nice and light and really creamy to apply. So it looks like it's a little bit less pigmented than the last one, um, but still really pretty. Has the same scent. Let's apply it. You can see it's pretty much my lip color exactly. Got a cat hair on my chin. No, that's not beard hair. So you can see the top, the bottom just looks perfected, but it's my lip color. Like it's definitely my lips, but better. I love it. So that's it on the lips. I love this color. Um, I would love to do the wear test on this shade because it is my favorite and it kind of goes with the look that I'm doing as well. So like a smoky eye, um, it's just the, my, my most perfect nude shade and I, I've been loving it. Um, but I can't really see how this wears off because when it starts wearing off, it looks exactly like my lip color. So, um, I won't use that one. But you can see this one's drying down a little bit slower. It is a shinier sort of finish. It's a little bit, uh, less bold than the peach, but it is beautiful. It's still a one coat wonder. Uh, it still lives up to the claim of like one swipe pigmentation. Um, if you want to overdraw your lips a little bit and just have look like really plump looking lips. Oh, this color would be so good. I'm so sad taking this one off because it's gorgeous, but it's going to have to happen. Bye, my friend. I'll miss you. All right. The next one we're swatching is Pastel Petal. So this looks very similar to the last one, but probably a little bit more pink very similar. So it's a little bit less mauve, a little bit more pink. Um, not too different. Probably don't need them both. Um, if you prefer, for me, I find that pinks lean, like pink tone nudes look very pink on my lips. We'll see if this one does. 
Um, it's just a little bit brighter. This is a little bit more sort of muted and cool toned, but they're they're similar. Let's see how it applies. It's a gorgeous color. These are both gorgeous colors. This one just looks a little bit more bright on the lips. Yeah, I love this too. This one's great. It's very similar to the last one. Uh, you can see it's just, a, once again, I said it's a little bit more pink. A little bit, yeah, this one's a little bit cooler. A little bit more nude. But they both apply really nicely. They both look really nicely. Uh, look really nicely. Look really nice. Um, and I love this colour too. A little bit more pink. Um, on me, I think because of my colouring, it does pull quite pink. So that's why I prefer the other one. But... They're both gorgeous. All right, two more to go. We're getting into more pinky, deeper ones. This one's really rose. Um, and it swatches something like this. So it's a lot deeper, a lot more pink. So, yeah. Super nice to apply. All right, so that's it. If you like a more rosy, deeper nude um, with strong pink sort of undertones to it it is a really pretty one um yeah not my favorite but it is very pretty okay so the last one that we're going to be testing out today in the wear test is this one here which is evening rose it's the deepest of the five and we'll swatch compared to the other ones this one is the one we're using you can see it's a lot more deeper and more sort of purple than that one but they are once again quite similar so um, I think what would have been better with this range is to have sort of deeper one in a more brownie tone and then these to be a little bit different but I think they're all very flattering on the lips um, and it's nice to see look how beautiful that color is I'm glad I'm testing that color out it's beautiful um, what I might do is zoom in so you can see closely how it applies uh, for the time reference, it is currently 12.30. I started this very late, um, but yeah, let's do it. All right, up close and personal. All my like foundation has worn off around my mouth, but oh well. Uh, so there you go. Oh, gorgeous color. I really like that you can get the tip and really sort of line your lips with it. All right, that's the color there when I first applied it, so it hasn't dried down completely yet. We can see it's a lot more berry toned than the last one. So the last one was a lot brighter pink. This one's a lot deeper. Um, it's turning matte. You can see that they do turn true matte. Uh, let's see how they smudge. They're a little bit, you can see that they smudge a little bit. Oh, such a nice color and it's nice with this look as well. So I don't mind this sort of uh, budging that it does and you can see that they grip. So once you're like moving them, they kind of grip the skin and that means that they stay on really well. Um, and the slight transferring, it doesn't bother me too much because it generally means the Liquid lipstick is more comfortable. I don't like the really dry flaky ones. You can see that this is not flaky at all. It looks really smooth and almost velvety. And that is because that it does have a little bit of movement to it um, and a little bit of um, hydration to it. But I'm gonna do a li liquid, not liquid lipstick kiss test. That's not a thing. I'm gonna do the kiss test. So it actually doesn't transfer that much unless you rub it. So it doesn't transfer. But if you do like smear it, it can smear. But yeah, if you just touch it, it doesn't actually pick up any product, but you need to smear it. So if you smear your face, it'll come off, but um, just kissing it or touching it doesn't. Um, but I do want to point out that if you want to buy these, uh, I'm not sure if they're available in Australia yet, but they're definitely in the US and you can buy them at Target in the US. Uh, you can buy them from the Pixie website as well, which ships internationally. Uh, Pixie's a UK brand, so I'm sure there's a lot of uh, stores in the UK where you can buy them but if you are from Australia and you're not too sure you can buy them in Sephora stores in Australia or David Jones now stocks them so I'm not sure if these have arrived in Australia yet um, they're pretty good with releases they might be but um, I'll double check and I'll leave links below all right so I'll be back I'll let you know how it wears 
after a couple hours. All right, so it is two hours into the wear test. I've worn it for a good two hours. Uh, no eating or drinking. I did film a very chatty video after I just last, you last on me. So I was talking a lot and uh, it looks really good. So it looks like it's sort of, um, mel it melds into the lips a little bit better. So it doesn't look super dry. There was a point where I was like, oh, it's feeling a little bit dry, but it, then that sort of settled down and it no longer feels really dry. It just looks really nice. It looks like a nice matte lipstick. Um, there's no real kind of wearing away around here. Like it looks fine. There's no flakiness. There's no dry bits. If I do kiss test, look, it's just the rim. I find the rim for some reason tends to wear off more than the rest, but yeah, it work. It, it's looking fine. So you can see that's just sort of settled down and looks like it's like working with my lips a bit better than before. So it's not sitting on top of my lips. It sort of looks like it's, yeah, I like it. I do want to say that most lipsticks look pretty good at this stage. The worst of the worst are the ones that don't pass the just wear it and talk for two hour mark. So um, I will go have lunch and have a coffee. And uh, this is like the real test of whether or not this is going to be a long wearing lipstick. If you're going to be able to wear it to work and not worry about reapplying just after lunch, um, we'll see. We'll check back. All right, it is currently 4.14. So um, I've had this on, when did I check in? An hour and a half ago. Um, was it an hour and a half ago? Yeah. Uh, so I've eaten food, I've had a coffee, I've done stuff, and it's wearing still quite well. So this is, yeah, I love it when liquid lipsticks wear this well. Okay, it is fading off slightly around the inner portion. Um, I might zoom in a second to show you, but it's very comfortable. Do I have food in my teeth? So it's sort of fading off naturally, but it's also feeling very natural and comfortable. It's not feeling dry. There's no like real chunkiness. There's no, well, there's no chunkiness or flaking off. Uh, there's no real patchiness. Um, the lighting's not the best. Wonder if I could just move this, hang on a sec. So if you look, so if I'm like direct with the sunlight, you can see that it still looks quite bold and quite nice. We'll zoom in. So that's it zoomed in. It's still quite bold in the lips. Fading off slightly like around here from where, I, where I've been eating, um, but nothing major. It still looks really good. All right, so it's my last check-in. It is 9.05, so I've had this on. I don't remember if I started this at 11.30 or 12.30, whatever. It's either eight and a half hours or nine and a half hours, so it's a long time that I've been wearing this with no touch-ups, um, and it was looking pretty stable from my last check-in to the point that I had dinner. So this is two meals, um, coffee, tea, water, drinks, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, I've given it a big test and I think it's doing a good job. So wearing a nude lip for this long and having it last, like it's still, it's, it wore off quite naturally to a point, but then once I was eating, it sort of wore off on the inner part a lot. Um, and now it's just mainly, um, on the outer, like the, the outer line of my lips. So, um, oh, the cat wants to get in this room. Is that boogie? So yeah, for a nude, this lasted really well. And, um, I think if, if you had one of the lighter shades, it would wear off looking less uneven. But I think the fact that it's lasted, let's say roughly nine hours, through multiple meals is very impressive. Um, I think this is better than most or all other nudes I've used. I had to look back at um, the liquid lipstick that holds the current top spot because I'm thinking this might rival it. Um, and I think that one still wins. That was Lady Balls by Too Faced, um, the Melted Matte. And that is a glorious red that lasted kind of quite boldly nine hours you know, nine hours wear plus. So um, I don't think this is as great, but I think it is one of the best nudes I've tried. So I'm going to give this second spot. So my list is going to be here. My second spot of the liquid lipsticks that I've tested. Um, I do have a lot more liquid lipsticks in my collection. So um, I do want to test more. And there are some really good ones that I haven't tried yet. So sort of the top part of that list um, needs to be fleshed out a lot. Um, but they're the only ones that I've done wear tests on. If you do want to see any of those, 
Um, I'll have the playlist linked in the description box. Um, but what I like about these, I'll have to say overall, these lip products, um, I need to unlock it again. So what I do love about these lip products is that um, they definitely last a long time. They're definitely one like layer or one swipe pigmentation. Um, at no point did my lips feel like annoyingly dry. Um, they felt fine. My lips, like if I take this off, I'm, I'm not worried that my lips are going to feel like um, dehydrated or, you know, dry and annoying. Um, they're fine. No problem. Um, but I think my favorite thing about this is actually the sort of these nude shades here. I think they're super flattering. I think they made a really gorgeous nude color range. I do think they could flesh it out with some more undertones because um, it's sort of like two dark pinks, two sort of mid-tone true nudes and a peach. I'd like to see more, but I think the colors are really, really flattering. Um, and definitely that, uh, was it matte beige? God, that's a gorgeous color. It's like one of my favorite colors of the moment. So I really like these liquid lipsticks and I definitely deserve out of the ones I've tested to be number two. So yeah, if you like that, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see other ones, I'll link some on the screen and, um, I will be back for more very soon. So I'll see you guys in the next one.